Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use DocuSign. So let's get into the video. So as you may know, DocuSign helps you to electronically sign any legal documents like your agreements, contracts, letters, or any other documents between two parties. So you can easily get the signature electronically. So I'll show you how you can do that. So firstly, just open up the DocuSign website. So just go to DocuSign.com. So once you get to DocuSign.com, so what you're going to do here is you're going to like uh, log in, for example, if you go to DocuSign, all right, if you go to the office, uh, your, their website, so what are you going to do? You're going to like sign in, so there will be an option to sign in. So if you have not, if you don't have uh, an account, so just uh, create, create one for free. It's free, so it's free for 30 days, so you can just hit on it and then clear, um, uh, create an account or log in if you have one. So I've, heard, I've got my account, so I've just logged in. Right. So, and then what you can do if you want to start a start sending an agreement for for to sign. So, what you can do, you can just click on start now. So, this will initiate the process. So, here, once you click on start now, so what you're going to do now here is you're going to simply upload your document that needs the signature. For example, click on upload. I've just use um just using a a Google templates just for demo. So, just use that. All right. So, just select that. So, just just add it so add your document so once you've add that then here what are you going to do you're going to add your uh, recipients all right so whoever uh, whoever is going to uh, sign this document so you're going to uh, mention the details of that person all right so if you are the only si or person signing you can sign this one otherwise you can set you can set this one all right you can set this one okay or you else or else oops or else what are you going to do you're going to like uh add in the name email address and then the person who needs to sign so make sure it says needs to sign and then add how, as, many, as many recipients like how many people who they needs to be signed you can just add in hit on add all right and then you can send a message here saying oh, okay uh just a message okay uh, uh please please sign attached document or something like that all right so if you uh, if you do that and then what are you going to do? So once that's done, so fill in all this information and then hit on um, sign. All right. So this will open up the document. So what you can do is so you can uh, either if you are signing it, so you what you can do you can just have a look through, read the documents, and then sign wherever you want. So for wherever that it needs to be signed. For example, in this document uh here something should be somewhere here all right like here and stuff so if you want you can uh uh do the sign here so click on signature all right so what you can do you can just sign so you can just click on signature and then click and drop it here and then now you can uh do your signature here so you can choose your signature so whatever signature that you want for example that one here Okay, you can hit on add up and sign. So that's my that's the signature here. So you just have to get that's it. I've signed it. And then once once if, uh, if I've done with all the signing and everything, so what I can do, I can hit on finish. All right. So once you hit finish here, what you can do, you can send a copy to yourself or like uh, someone else who you want to send. I'll just send it to myself, a copy of the email. All right. And then you can put in the subject and also. Um, if you want uh, someone else to sign for you, okay, all right, you can also send them an email so you can send a link to them and then they can just click on the link and sign this document as well. If there's another party involved in this, so like in this uh, contract or agreement. So once you are sent, once you're done with that, hit on send and that's it. And then if I go to my uh, email here, so I should see a copy of my contract that I just signed. All right. All right, so this so once once this uh, once you have signed the document, then you should receive something like this. You should receive a copy of your signed document, which you can access and keep it and keep for records. So that's your signed document here being attached. So you can keep that for records. And yep, that's that's the one. So that's the copy that I sent to myself. And you can also access this document online. All right, so. So that's pretty much it is. So you can use DocuSign to electronically sign the document by yourself 
and send it to your copy uh, with a digital signature or you can send it to your uh, other party and then make them um, get their signature digitally and then uh, complete the contract so it's pretty easy and handy and makes um, uh, agreements uh, uh, makes the whole process simpler so hope this video is helpful to you guys i'll see you all in another video thank you